Don't do. Too many voices. Hello. 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 Someone called Ben Beanie. Hello. And I'm going to eat you. I have a question for you. Um, what the heck, man? I have a question for you. That, that, that Ben Bean guy. He was All right, you can ignore me. That's fine. Hey, I have a question for you. Um, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo 64 game Banjo Kazooie? It was fun, honestly. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was one of my childhood games. Oh, same here. Yeah, it's an awesome game. What about you, Mr. R E D? Do you do you know Banjo Kazooie? Do you know, but I never played it. Never played it? Oh, uh, do you like Mario? <laughs> yeah. Uh it's like a three D platformer. It's pretty like classic. It's kinda underrated, but like the controls are in my opinion at least better than Mario sixty four. It's, it's aged a lot better, but like it's a really fucking good game. I love it a lot. 64 was different. What? Oh, the Nintendo 64? Yeah, that was like such an interesting era of gaming. Like, it was so experimental because everyone was like, what do we do with 3D? And they're like, let's just do weird shit. <laughs> Wait, Banjo Kazooie's is not vulgar. You're thinking of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Conker's, I mean, yeah, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. You're thinking of Rare, yeah. Rare. Oh. I the fucking charge for that game, and I lent it to a friend and never got it back. And now I. It's such a rare game to come by. I love Banjo Kazooie so much that I've bought it three different times on three different platforms: once on N64, once on 360, and then once on Switch. I'm a huge fan. I'm writing a giant script for it, and I'm stalling because I have writer's block, so I'm, maybe I'll include this clip. I don't know. Dude, content grinding is hard for real, for real. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Black Cat. I have a question for you. Have you ever played the hit N64 game Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64? Long ago and I was too young to remember it. Too young to remember? Uh, yeah. It's it's a great game. It's awesome. I need to find a mirror real quick. Too many voices. And now we are in the void. Hello. It is I. A.W. Cobb. But you can call me Otto. Hello. What is your name? Don't have a mic, do we? That's alright. I'm just going. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you do? I have a question for you. What's good, man? Uh, have you ever played hit game Banjo Kazooie for the Nintendo 64? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, it's fun. Oh, you're cutting out. What? Where'd he go? Oh, he didn't answer. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, I guess we'll never know. 
I guess we'll never know. Oh yeah, we're going to be balancing tonight. I am so high. Ew, what was that sound? Ew, gross. Oh shit, forgot to turn on the mirror. Stop making that noise, that is gross. That is a one-way ticket to Mute Town. Later. All right, no more of that disgustingness. Whoa, what's this? Are you just a radio or do you have a mic too? Are you radio? I know this yeah, song. I as well. yeah. Oh, I have a question for you, good sir. What's that? Do you like Banjo-Kazooie? For the Nintendo 64. Oh, man. It's been a while since I played it. But yeah, I've played it before. I like it. You like it? Yeah! That's good. I like that. That's a good answer. You survive. I'm not like a super fan, but I do like it. I'm a, I'm a super fan. I'm writing a paper on it, and I'm slacking on it because I have writer's block, and now I'm just distracting myself. It's a really good game. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Like, the level design is so memorable. The music is iconic. The character designs are funny. The sense of humor is timeless because it's British. Dry humor is funny. Mm -hmm. I just have a lot to say about it, but I don't know where to begin. recently been Pikmin. I really like Pikmin. Ooh, I haven't played 4 yet. I've played the original trilogy, but I haven't gotten to 4. Because a lot of good games have been coming out this year, so I really haven't had money to pay for it. I haven't played 3, but I played the demo from 4. 3 is on Switch now. It's a good time to play it. The Switch version actually runs flawlessly. It's like, it's it's a fucking... Oh my god, I love that. I love Pikmin 3. I actually think I like it more than Pikmin 2. It's good, but it's like, I don't like random generated levels. Like, it, I found that uh, to be very annoying because, like, I would get so far in one of the, the caves and, like, all of a sudden, like, um, you, you would restart and it's like a whole new layout and it's like 10 times harder. And you're like, well, fuck me, I guess. Yeah, it's, I don't understand that. But, like, in Pikmin 3, not only do they give you a more generous way to, like, keep yourself going, but... It basically has no time limit if you play your cards correctly, which is very freeing. It made me, like, appreciate the level design. The graphics are gorgeous. And, like, there's no randomly generated levels. So that's that's what Pikmin 3 has over 2, in my opinion. Yeah, it just... Pikmin 2 gets really tedious over time. Like, I was, like, replaying it for the Switch recently because I was like, you know, fuck it, I got it. So I got it, and I was like... Alright, I after playing it throughout the week because I went to like a a convention, so I brought it with me. Um and it just got tedious over a little bit. I'm like this cave again. It's just like I don't know. I didn't and, bring the right Pikmin and I have to go out and grab some new ones. And there's like speedrunners that try and justify that by saying like Oh no, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. It's just the whole randomly generated thing. If I have to leave, grab more Pikmin, and come back, it's different. Yeah, I mean, like they were neat challenges, but like I don't, I don't agree with the defense saying like, oh, they're not required because they had the best treasure in them. It's like if you wanted to get through a game yeah. at a comfortable pace, why would you stay on the surface and only get the like smaller treasures? Because the bigger treasures are in the caves, you know. Anyways, why you wouldn't. that's like where most of the treasure is anyway. Like, if you're trying to, it just feels like it is uh, mandatory at that point because you got like, if you never went in like the caves like that, then you wouldn't have found the other Pikmin. 
Yep. Because, uh, yeah, purple and white Pikmin, you can only get in the caves. And purple basically trivialized the game's difficulty. Like, you can go through the game without any purple Pikmin. It's just not going to be easy, you know? I, I in in a way that is smart game design, but like if I wanted to play randomly generated levels, I'd play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which is a way better game. Right. Right. Man, you are you are a good conversation person. I, I try to be. Yeah. I'm working yeah. on that. Yeah, you've been like the best person that I've asked so far. I've asked like three people that same question and then we ended up talking about Pikmin. That's how I know you a real one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, spoilers for Pikmin, I guess. Same convention as the purple. Yeah, I went to that same convention I was talking about as the purple Pikmin. Oh, I feel just like a purple Pikmin right now. Yeah, I'm smoking that Granddaddy yeah, perp right now. Like, yeah, smoking that purple Pikmin pack. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not a pack. It's a rove. I got it from the dispensary today because my cartridge ran out, and I finally had enough money to pay for it right now. Oh shit. So I'm like, I got a fresh rove right now. The flavor's called Granddaddy Perp. It's awesome. That's awesome. I thought you were just kind of spitting. Nah, I'm actually smoking. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm high as a kite. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to end the clip yeah. there. Lol.